Hello and welcome to our sports presentation of Remote Call 5, our remote support product. Um, today we're going to show you uh, how to get connected with your customers, how to log into the application, how to connect, and some of the key features in Remote Call 5.0. Um, so this is a web-based remote support tool. It does not require any installation on the customer's site. So it's very easy to uh, get connected with, with your end users. Over here, uh, this is the representative's desktop. We have the remote call application here. We're going to log in with our user ID and password. And then we'll be starting a remote support session. Um, from remote call, we just have to click on start session here. And we'll start a pending support session. Uh, we'll be displayed with a connection URL and a six digit connection code right here. And you would just relay this to the customer and get them to access the website and, and enter the code. Um, now you can copy this to your clipboard and send it by instant messenger or you can even uh, send an invitation email with the link already inside the email. Um, we're going to move over to the customer's desktop here. Customer needs help. They're going to access the support page, startsupport.com. Now this page can also be embedded into your own website, so you can uh, have your customers uh, connect right from your website, but we also have this publicly available site if you wish to use that as well. So we're going to have the customer enter in his name and the connection code. After the code's been entered, they will be prompted to run a one-time executable file, which will initiate uh, the download of the control files and start the connection process. During this process, uh, no programs are installed and no registry entries are modified. This is just a one-time connection between the customer and the representative. So we're connecting with the server now. We go back to the representative's desktop. In just a moment, we will see the, uh, the customer's desktop uh, come up on the screen here. Once we're connected, we have full screen sharing with the customer, and we can also initiate mouse and keyboard control and, and various other features in the application. So screen sharing comes up. We now have full screen sharing of the system. You can change the size of the window here, whatever size you need. Over here, we can enable uh, the mouse keyboard control. This gives us full mouse keyboard control of the remote system. Just like that. And uh, during the session, we can also initiate uh, our drawing mode. And you can draw on the screen to guide the customer, to guide the customer through, uh, through their problems and help them. And as well, um, we have what's called presentation mode. So you can actually reverse the screen sharing with the customer and display your desktop to the customer. Very useful if you're giving a, if you need to give a presentation or you're training them on uh, some application or some web service. So if we do that, uh, the screen flips and the customer is now viewing my desktop. Uh, we can give the customer mouse and keyboard control if they need it to control our desktop, or we can just demonstrate something to them. When you're ready to go back, we just close down the presentation mode feature and the session will flip back and I'll be viewing the uh, customer's desktop again. Um, Remote Call 5 is much faster now. Uh, the performance has been improved. It's very, very quick. Um, we can also drag and drop files from desktop to desktop for seamless file transfers. So if I drag this file across, it'll just transfer it right to the remote desktop. Very, very easy. So performance has been improved with Remote Call 5. We have a new video driver now. And uh, we can show you a demo of that here. This is a 3D, a 3D CAD file. So during the session, you get real-time response with the remote desktop. You can also change uh, the color settings if you need to improve the performance during the session. You can change the color, color level, 256 color <coughs> or true color. So as you can see, it's, uh, it's very responsive. Um, as well, Remote Call gives you instant access to system diagnostic information. <coughs> on the remote system. So you get uh, like the device manager information, hardware and software details right from the program. You don't have to open up device manager. This information can be copied and pasted to a clipboard and uh, or copied to a clipboard and pasted in Excel. So you can review it or archive it. And uh, so you get lots of useful information in here. As well, we give you access to the processes on the system. You can actually end tasks from here like you would in, uh, in task manager. So all of this, these are all shortcuts while you're in session. So once everything has been resolved on the remote system, 
uh, you can disconnect the session. Either the representative or the customer can disconnect the session. During the session, the customer always maintains control of the keyboard and mouse. So even while I have control, if the customer moves his cursor, um, it will block my control automatically. So the customer always has overriding control of, the, uh, of their own desktop at all times. When the customer wishes to disconnect, they can just bring up the session status window and disconnect the session. This will bring up the web browser again and show them a summary of the support session, who they were connected with, the session time, how long it took, and, uh, and that information. And then, of course, the session details are logged to the administration page for the representative as well. So, uh, so that is the Remote Call 5 connection procedure and key features. Uh, if you'd like to sign up for a trial, please visit us online at rsupport.com, and you can sign up for a two-week free trial. Thank you.